Oh, what's up, YouTube? This is Mr. Nice Guy. As for yesterday, Donald J. Trump is officially our 45th president. And as American, the truth is, I don't really care. People who's going to work is gonna go to work. People who have mortgage to pay still have mortgage to pay. It doesn't really make a difference in my life. Again, these are just my opinion, and uh, that's it. Did I vote for him? No. Do I support him? No. Do I like Hillary better? Nah. And I live in California, so it don't really matter who I voted for. Like how he said yesterday, start from now, it's going to be America first. Jobs, military, trade deal, etc. But I'm just wondering how is he gonna do that? Anyway, that's something out of my control. And of course I don't know, maybe that's why he's the president. In his speech, he talks something about Islamic terrorism. I'm just wondering why there are so many anti-Muslim in the world. I mean, I think we should at least know what we like and dislike, right? So I did some research about Islam, the religion, and I found something that's very interesting. Maybe all of you know it already, but it was news to me. So me, as a Christian, I think it will be a very interesting topic to talk about. Because the stories and the people in the Quran, I'm not even sure if I pronounce it right. If I'm not, sorry. Are very similar to the Bible that I'm currently reading right now. So I decided to make a video about it. This is just some information I found on the website. I don't even know if it's correct. If I'm wrong, please point it out. But don't get mad. Why would you be mad about something you found on the internet? So both Islam and Christianity have one God. But they call it differently. As well as all these other characters in the Bible. They also appear in the book of Quran with different spelling names, but I believe its pronunciation should be somewhat the same. And they both started with Abraham, but both religions have very different point of view of each other. I'm gonna give you some examples. Both Islam and Christian believe that Jesus was sent by God. A Christian believe Christ is the Son of God. Muslims think that the Holy Trinity that Christians speak of it's a sin because there can only be one God and both believe that their way is the right way. Christians believe that Jesus was resurrected and defeated death, but Muslims believe that Jesus didn't even die on the cross. So there is no reason to believe in resurrection. And Muslims believe that people were created by Allah and are born without sin. But Christians believe that people are created by God's own image and was born with sin. Muslims believe that Muhammad was the last prophet or messenger that was sent by God. He himself can't read. So it's impossible to copy the Bible or Torah, Judaism Bible, I guess. Because of the Bible or the Torah had been through so much by so many people that it shifted from God's point of view. The Quran is the only truth. Muslims believe that Jesus got the book of gospel from God, but it has already been twisted by the writer, include Paul's letter to all the churches, so it lost the true meaning from God. There are a lot more, I'll put the link down below on the, in the description, so if you're interested, you can read it. In the beginning, they're all peaceful. They don't believe each other's different, but they're not really fighting like today. And most of the conflict are for political reasons, just like today. The person that is in power is trying to use religion to create a conflict to twist people's mind to achieve their own personal goal, like the crusade and now the terrorist attack. So when did the conflict start? So during the Islamic rule, Christian and Judaism was oppressed. For example, you can't join the military, you can't have crosses, you can't build new churches, you can only remodel the old one, you can't ride horses, you can only ride donkeys. And you have to give up your seat whenever you see Muslim. And the famous one, if a Muslim killed a non-Muslim, there is no death penalty. But if it's the other way around, you're gonna die for sure. There are a lot more, I'll put the link down below too. You can take a look if you're interested. And it's not all Muslims' fault. Christian did some bad political decision as well. Ever since 636 AD, the Holy Land Jerusalem was occupied by Muslim. Islam, I don't know. But the Emperor of Byzantium Empire went to the Holy Roman Empire for help. So the Pope started the crusade. And it continued for over 200 years. And it failed. Or worse than failed. Holy Land Jerusalem was basically raped. There are records that told in one temple there was over 10,000 refugees was murdered. And all the treasures were stolen from the temple, palace, people's home. After the crusader occupied the city, there was mass murder for three days on men, women, old, young, women, children. Did I say women twice? And they burned their body in a pile to try to find gold. So I found these kind of things really interesting. It's about two books that tell almost the same story, with different point of view. 
and the politician use it to create conflict between people. And I believe that most people are like me. We have no idea why we like or dislike one another. As a Christian, I was told to love your neighbor like you love yourself. I think that's a good start. Only God can tell you what he really means. And we can only do our best to interpret what he said from whatever book you read from. One day when he comes down, or when we go up, he's the only one that can tell us what it is. Maybe the Christian got something wrong, maybe the Muslim got something wrong. Maybe we both got something wrong, and we both have something right. And when God finally reveals what he really means, it's gonna be like, ah, that's what you mean. So spread love, not hate. That's the least we can do. Alright, I'm Mr. Nice Guy. Hope today's video interests you, and hope I'm not in trouble in any way. Again, these are just my own thoughts, and what I research online. And I want to put it together for everyone to see, and see what people are gonna say about it. Oh, at least I thought it was a very interesting video and topic. Anyway, I'll see you next time. And God bless you.